The Lady and Supporters Association has been going for about 18 months and it's designed to support and encourage women to come to live football games, predominantly obviously Lincoln City. And it's about offering opportunities to women to engage, socialise together, but also celebrate football. And obviously today marks a really special relationship between Lincoln City and Bradford City and the historic ties that we've got. Unfortunately, yes, through the disaster of the 1985 fire, but also looking to build and bridge those friendships through that history. So this is what Fans of Diversity is about. It's about two groups that none would never ever come together. So you've got the Battle Bantams uh, and you've got the Lady Ames come together doing a, a cook and eat session, making the best pakoras here. And we've got the Lady Ames group making these fabulous pakoras in and out here. They're better than the Bangla Bantams group. For those of you that don't know, like my dad's from Bangladesh and my mum's from East London. So my mum's a Cockney and my dad has literally come over here from Bangladesh in the 70s. I don't know how many of you have seen the film East is East, yeah. where you've got like, the English and the Asian in one house. And, and that's basically been my life. And one thing about kind of me and the reason I do this job, the conversation and just integration is so underrated. People don't talk because they're a little bit different. And it's not because they don't want to because they're a bit unsure what to say or how to greet someone or you know it, it makes you feel uncomfortable and I've had that my whole life literally like my aunt my mum's brother would meet my dad's brother and they literally wouldn't know what to say but then once they get to know each other and the ice is broken they find out they've got some things that are actually really common in terms of football food life they can have as much fun as as anyone but it's that it's that initial thing about the unknown I've never been to Bradford City Football Club before. In 1985, I can remember sitting on the, on the, watching the television and seeing what happened. Um, I was expecting my daughter at the time. Coming now and seeing and feeling near that memorial was um, very unexpected. And I think that will live with me for a long time. It's just been a total eye opener. I did not expect to even touch the food, to be honest. I thought I was going to discreetly say mm, thank you, but wonderful, wonderful. And the atmosphere, amazing. Yes, I did have a tear at the memorial. Yes, I had a tear at the film. It has been well documented over the years, but what hasn't been documented is the role of the local Bangladeshi community. Coming to the stadium for many, many years, we have been in the, our, our, our little community as well. But, but all of a sudden, a little tragedy touched the hearts of lots of people and stuff, and all the community got together, the Pakistani community, the Bangladeshi community. Give some water, some blanket or towel, something. So we give as much we can. In, in, the, in the corner of the street, there was all time fire services, ambulances, police, etc., whatever. It was, it was just, there was just a lot of panic, a lot, a lot, a lot of hysteria around, around the area as well. It's that initial thing about the unknown, and I think that's why like, today has been, been amazing because initially I bet everyone was thinking, okay, I wonder how today's going to go, a bit nervous, but then once, once you lighten up and you realise that we're all, we're all people and there's a lot of things that the Lady Ims can take home to Lincoln in terms of how to cook a pakora, you know. <laughs> Well, I'm conscious that uh, the introduction of, of Asian people within the Bradford City Stadium is only relatively recent, certainly uh, in the last 10, 10 years or so. Um, and prior to that, I think there was a, there was a, a lack of uh, people from that community in the stadium, despite the fact that they live all around it. Uh, it seemed crazy. When I'm first time, I'm going to see the uh, stadium. I'm really very excited, and it's very. I feel very young. Well, I think the, the obvious benefit is that more people come and watch football, and we know that there are people that have come to these that, games now that, that weren't coming before. You know, traditionally single ladies. You know, a single mum with the kids maybe wouldn't come to a football match, didn't feel safe, didn't feel it was the right environment. And yet now we've got we've got ladies who are coming that never used to come, they're regular, they come with their kids. I pray to Allah, give the win. Yeah, and do they always win when you watch? Yeah. Three times I'm there and three times. And I, when I go to Bradford Stadium, I see the, uh, the 
Bradford City is a player is playing, I feel in my son is playing. One of the proudest moments I've had in the last few years, I was up at a restaurant on the top of the hill just up here after a game one night with my wife and my, my daughter. And a family walked in. There was mum, grandma, and three girls, kids. They all had Lincoln City shirts on. They all went to the game. And all they wanted to do was come over and talk to me about football while I'm at and for me, that summed it up. It's been phenomenal to actually bring two fan groups together from different parts of the country that are unique in themselves. Sharing, you know, the, 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 the similarities. You know, if we want people to integrate and get on, it's about talking, it's about getting to know each other. And there's not many opportunities for people that are different and people that maybe live in different parts of the country to actually do that. And it's fantastic what the Fanta Diversity Initiative has done. It's been wonderful. Great football brings everybody together. It's been amazing. Two amazing groups and we've just had a great day. It's a, it's a memorable experience for everybody here. It's an experience for you. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's a good experience. Yeah. Yeah. So when's the next one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>